The Ukrainian army has captured an Egyptian national who joined the Russian occupation forces. According to the prisoner, he signed a contract with the Russian army because his visa was about to expire, according to the Donbas Really project. The Egyptian was captured near Kurokov town, south of Pokrovsk, an area where Russia conducts infantry assaults and attacks with tanks and IFVs. Ukrainian defenders have often spotted mercenaries from other countries in this area. There are Egyptians there now. We captured them last time. There were also some Africans. I don't know which country they were from. We provoked the Egyptian to surrender, a Ukrainian soldier said. The soldier added that foreign mercenaries fighting for the Russian occupiers are so frightened that they fear their commanders more than death. Harsh coercion is used against them. The media managed to speak with one of the mercenaries. The 25-year-old Egyptian citizen was captured near the village of Peremoa, close to Marienka. The prisoner said their mission was to reach a certain point, secure it, and hold the position. After sitting under fire for two days, the group decided to surrender. There was no communication, no water, nothing at all, so we surrendered. We said, guys, we're giving up, but nobody on the other side responded. A Ukrainian guy said, when you see the drone, follow it. So we did, said the foreign mercenary. The Ukrainian military from the 33rd Brigade recorded the retreat of the enemy following a Ukrainian drone on video. Two Russian soldiers were killed on the same road by Russian artillery fire. The Egyptian citizen who surrendered to the Ukrainian armed forces shared his story on how he ended up fighting in Ukraine. He had studied at a linguistic department in a Russian university learning English and Russian. He signed a contract with the occupation forces on March the 3rd of this year. I am an Egyptian citizen. I signed the contract this year because my visa was expiring. I completed my third year of studies with only one year left. I read online that if you're not a Russian citizen, they can't send you to the special military operation, he said. However, it turned out they sent him to the front. The Egyptian insisted that he refused to go to war in Ukraine and he supposedly already had Russian citizenship, which was used without him knowing it. He claims to be shocked because he hadn't even submitted the documents to the Ministry of Internal Affairs. Allegedly, the papers were submitted on his behalf to send him to fight against Ukrainians. He recalled how the Russians locked him in a room resembling a prison cell to prevent him from fleeing. Then they put him in a Kamkaz truck drove him to a training ground and sent him with an assault group to the front line near Kurokov town. He described the conditions there as horrific. Honestly, we are just cannon fodder. If you don't want to go on a mission, they can shoot you or throw you in a pit. Then they lock you up there and you can't see anything. I know a guy who sat in a pit for three weeks, he said. Russia uses mercenaries to wage war against Ukraine and often sends them on assault missions. Petro Yatsenko, a representative of the Coordination Headquarters for the Treatment of Prisoners of War, said that there are citizens of Cuba, Nepal, African and Latin American countries among the prisoners captured by Ukraine. Ukraine's military claimed it struck a major oil terminal Monday in Crimea that provides fuel for Russia's war effort as Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said the war has entered a key phase. Both sides are facing the issue of how to sustain their costly war of attrition a conflict that started with Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022 and that shows no signs of a resolution. Ukraine's general staff said on social media that the oil terminal in Feodosia, on the south coast of the Russia-occupied Crimea Peninsula, has been supplying the Russian army with fuel and that the strike was part of an ongoing effort to undermine the military and economic potential of the Russian Federation. Russian-installed authorities in the city of Feodosia on the coast of the Black Sea reported a fire at the terminal on Monday morning but did not say what might have caused it. Ukraine has increasingly targeted rear areas that are essential for Russia's onslaught, now deep into its third year. It has developed long-range drones that have hit oil depots and refineries as well as armories. Ukraine's aim is to impair Russia's ability to support its frontline units, especially in the eastern Donetsk region where the main Russian battlefield effort is stretching weary Ukrainian forces. Kiev is still awaiting word from its western partners on its repeated requests to use the long-range weapons they provide to hit targets on Russian soil. Developments on that question could come next weekend at Ramstein Air Base in Germany, when defense leaders from the 50-plus partner nations that coordinate military aid to Ukraine are due to meet.
The conflict has largely been a war of attrition, which requires large amounts of ammunition. Late on Sunday, Zelensky said the war is in a very important phase, as the Ukrainian army works hard to hold the bigger Russian forces at bay in the east while also holding ground in Russia's Kursk border region, which it captured two months ago. Ukraine needs to put pressure on Russia in the way that's necessary for Russia to realize that the war will gain them nothing, Zelensky said in a video statement. We will continue to apply even greater pressure on Russia because only through strength can we bring peace closer, he added. Meanwhile, Russia fired six missiles of various types and 74 Shahid drones at Ukraine overnight, Ukraine's Air Force said. Missile debris fell in three districts of Kiev, causing minor damage to civilian infrastructure and starting a fire, Mayor Vitaly Klitschko said. He said nobody was hurt. Three missile fragments fell on a kindergarten, he said without elaborating. Russia's defense ministry said it shot down almost two dozen Ukrainian drones overnight.